welcome back students hope you all are doing well keeping sound health in this video this chandrasekhar utukuri is going to work out for computer science engineering students a very important questions for the course object oriented programming using c++ under j into h for r18 regulation dear students the course is too lengthy in its structure you are supposed to develop the programs and the students should have a knowledge on pps I mean the first year the programming for problem solving course you have to have minimum basic fundamentals to go through this course as well as to develop certain programs related to inheritance polymorphism as well as exception handling the first and foremost question i can give you is the oops versus procedure oriented programming is said to be the top most question and this is nothing but the differences inheritance versus polymorphism which you are going to study in the next coming units you are supposed to have strong fundamental concepts of unit 1 need for oops paradigm and the different types is also said to be one of the short question in the examination abstraction and encapsulation is also short question concepts of oops may be also the short question dynamic memory allocation and deallocation is said to be the long question this time for sure in the question paper the question paper long questions is nothing but 2a 2b as well as 3a 3b as per the regular pattern i have uploaded a question paper pattern the first unit consists of two questions 2ab or 3ab and option or in between you are supposed to write complete 2ab or 3ab only the strings and type conversion related to pointer array and strings need to be strong in foundations of pps subject preprocess directives recursion functions may be the short question functions and the scope of a variable default and inline function may be the b question in the question paper do not expect direct 5 mark or 10 mark question it is a combination of 5 5 split data types and the declaration of variables flow control statement is said to be one of the top most question which may occur this time in the question paper related to all this statement structure of c++ program may be the short question operator precedence may be occurring in 3a as well as 3b this part do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't i am going to post few more important questions for the upcoming semester and this semester too and you all are aware that the part a consists of the short questions from a to j dear students each question carries two and three combination from every unit you are supposed to attempt i mean from every unit you are going to get 15 marks one long question is for 10 mark and the short question is for 2 and 3 mark combination a total of 15 marks will be covered from every unit per as per the regular pattern later i have come up with the fifth unit i mean the question number here is 10 as well as 11 you are supposed to attempt either 10 or 11 focus on the fifth unit it is too small in structure like throwing an exception and the exception objects and the specifications there are no separate short questions you are supposed to work out in depth all the fundamentals where i am highlighting so that you could able to work out short questions stacks and winding may be also one of the very important question which may occur in 10a 10b along with the programs and the examples you need to work the exception and handling along with its types and the benefits may be the short question try catch throw along with the programs related to exception handling is a damn sure question in the 11th question dear students while preparing do not prepare separately the short questions and the long questions try to work out the concept wise so that you could able to work out the long as well as short questions which are asked in the examination later the question number here is the 9 uh, sorry 8 and 9 from the unit 4 overloading operators related to function overloading as well as operator overloading along with the example problems is said to be the top most question this time file stream versus stream strings error handling during file operation this may occur in 8a 8b dear students stream classes hierarchy and the stream input output and the io using function c functions and formatted io this may occur in 9a 9b as i was telling that there are no short questions in this video separately you are supposed to be thorough with all the concepts so could you will to work out i have uploaded a video on how to take the theory paper in this channel please go through it i even uploaded a video on how to utilize your 3 hours of time to take part a part b a tips have been given in this channel please go through it and watch it define the term inheritance and the different forms and the class hierarchy virtual base classes is said to be the top most question virtual functions related to static and dynamic binding is said to be one of the top most and five star question which may occur in the question paper this time the number is 7 here as well as the 6 as well as 7 will be occurring from the unit 3 
virtual function call mechanism and the base versus derived classes is also said to be one of the top most question which may occur in the question paper in the 7 polymorphism uses of the classes is said to be the top most question abstract classes may be the short question and virtual destructor may be the short question these are the very important and gun short question for the course hoops using c++ under the unit 3 later the question number here is the 4 as well as 5 for the unit 2 i am going to let you know the units to be prepared in order to score out of out mark do not skip this video and watch till the end define the term class and the scope and the objects and the definition and structure this may be a part of long or the short question you need to be thorough as per the regular pattern with complete unit whichever the unit you are preparing dear students friends to a class along with the program the data abstraction and static member class you need to be working out even the examples as well as the programs are said to be the very important part for this course coming to the fifth unit there's the constructor and the destructors and the differences ADT and information hiding is also said to be the topmost question. Dynamic creation and destruction of objects is also very very important question dear students. This comes in the part of 4 as well as 5 that may be AB split all the time dear students. Do not expect 10 mark direct question. A student who want to score good marks and to have a better knowledge to work out this course need to work out the unit 1 for sure every individual need to focus on unit 1 for sure so that you will be having strong fundamentals later you can go with even fifth unit as well as you can go even with the second unit the students who are just looking to pass and the students who want to score a better mark need to work out even unit 3 as well as unit 4. A students who are working with this 3 units will be getting more than 45 marks by the following my all the concepts wherever I highlighted. If you work out even 3 and 4 with neat handwriting and writing all the programs in a given stipulated of 3 hours you are going to get 70 plus above marks if you are following these all questions dear students. Hope you are going to subscribe to my channel by pressing a bell icon you are going to receive the latest notifications and do not forget to comment if you are looking for any other course and by giving a thumbs up to this video uh, you are going to support my channel. Hope you will do that. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. Thank you.